Well, I think the way to position this wine, one is Hansel is uh, it's an iconic brand. Uh, we've been around for uh, over 50 years. The style has remained the same. <clears throat> Very, you know, a true Grand Cru uh, wine from California that really competes on the level of Grand Cru Burgundy. And if you think about uh, the value that you get uh, compared to Grand Cru Burgundy, it's, uh, it, it's very well priced. A few things that I would really recommend, one, when you're going to present the wine uh, at the winery, we really uh, believe in decanting the Chardonnay uh, a good two hours ahead of time. So uh, we like to encourage the you know, waiters of restaurants uh, to do that. Uh, as you would Grand Cru White Burgundy, we decant the, the Chardonnay. And uh, for salespeople who are going out, we'd like to see uh, you decant the wine before you're going to take it out. And in fact, it's often better the next day. So uh, you shouldn't feel that you have to uh, see all of your accounts <laughs> at the same time. Uh, they, that bottle will last uh, uh, and actually improve uh, the next day. The aromas, uh, bright uh, white flower, uh, it's actually what, what a Chardonnay vineyard smells like when it's in bloom and I know most people don't get a chance to uh, experience that but it, it is fantastic and it's what uh, that aroma, that floral aroma is what you smell in the vineyard. Uh, there's also a, a wonderful uh, clean citrus quality to it and uh, minerality, like a, uh, I, I think of it as warm, wet granite. Uh, I'm a rock climber and uh, it smells to me like Yosemite after a, a thunderstorm. So, uh, but that may be a bit es esoteric, but there's a clean mineral, uh, clean earth uh, quality to the wine. And uh, <clears throat> in the mouth, you'll find uh, uh, quite a bit of richness, it's very broad, but at the same time there's uh, a real firm structure. There's uh, uh, not only is it a, the acid, but there's the phenolic uh, tannin as well that, that pairs with the acidity and provides great structure for working with food uh, and it gives us the longevity that we strive for in our wines. Uh, 2007 Pinot Noir, uh, you'll find this wonderful uh, red fruits, pomegranate, uh, cranberry, cherry, uh, quite typical of, of Pinot Noir, but there's also uh, a great deal of complexity, kind of a uh, fresh tobacco leaf, uh, not cigar box, but, but uh, that, that fresh tobacco, uh, damp earth, uh, clean mineral uh, and <clears throat> it's a very compelling aroma and uh, very complex it's difficult to describe but it is uh, very true to that you see it throughout the vintages that that quality uh, in the mouth a broad uh, rich velvety tannins uh, plenty of them there's great structure to the wine again we're making wines that are going to be around for decades and uh, because of that there's a great structure and this Pinot Noir will work for very well with much richer foods and uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic Pinot Noir.